crack that I'm having. Okay, we have lots of people here. This next guy is a longtime friend of mine, Paul Taylor. How many people saw Paul Taylor's session yesterday at the, um, at the uh, I don't know where it was, one of these rooms over there. Paul is the Traveling Science Show and Community Outreach Manager at the Franklin Institute, where he has been there for 10 years, but I have known Paul for like 30 years he's been doing this, and now he's like on an international role. Not only is he up here in Canada, but in addition to that, he was just recently in China, and like next week, he's going to Germany. So this is like a world-class number one science performer. Let's have a big round of applause for Mr. Paul Taylor. Wow. Thank you, Eddie. Thank you. Uh, no one can possibly live up to that, what you've just done, but thank you. Uh, so uh, from the Franklin Institute, uh, it's been around for almost 200 years, and at the Institute, we are known for blowing sh stuff up. <laughs> almost slipped there. So, uh, like no fire here in the exhibit hall, which I regret greatly. So, I thought I'd do a theme on pressure because Eddie has been pressuring me for many years to come to the live demo hour. You got me today, so you're going to feel the pressure that I was feeling. So, how can I get a pressure experiment? Well, of course, extreme temperature differences. So, I brought with me today uh, something I'm sure you've all have done because I find the classics to be the best, don't you? Yes. Casablanca, Citizen Kane. Actually, a really awful movie, but you know, it, it's a classic. So, uh, I'm sure many of you have done this before. We have a copper tube. I have some uh, some corks. I painted them orange for your visual uh, visual pleasure. So, I'm going to fill up this copper tube with liquid nitrogen. As you know, liquid nitrogen, as it turns from a liquid into a gas, is going to grow about 700 times. That's a lot. That's a lot of expansion. And then we're going to do something you should never do. Of course, we're going to cork it. Now listen, this is something that you really never should do at home. Do this at your neighbor's house, because it's better. Nettie knows that. All right, so let's get some uh, nitrogen here. We're going to fill this up. This is going to be awesome. We'll get uh, a glove. Safety first, right? All right, we'll do this first one here. All right, here we go. Everybody, uh, whenever I give you the signal, I'd like everyone to yell, fire in the hole. And it doesn't mean what you think it means. It actually means we're firing a projectile. All right, here we go. Sorry, Eddie, that was, uh, okay, here we go. We're filling, we're filling, we're filling, we're filling. All right, there we go, all right. Everybody, fire in the hole. Maybe. Okay, so right now. <laughs> Sorry! <laughs> I'm gonna go I'm gonna go one more here. I'm gonna go a different direction. Let's do it one more time. Because really I, I've been trying to get here for ten years and this is all I've got. I feel a little anyway, here we go. Fire in the hole! <laughs> <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, the powerful expansion of liquid nitrogen. Thank you very much. Like 10 years in the making, right? 10 years I've been waiting to get here. Mr. Paul That's Taylor, let's got. hear it for him. All right, I have to tell you, Paul, that, yeah, that was good. That was good. That was okay. like, it was like, like three people. Thank you. Uh, and you. It was I saw you, not. You know, it was, it was, and this front right. row, nothing. Like, okay, here. here's the thing, Paul. I was expecting something bigger. Do you know what I'm saying? It was like, I mean, that was good. Give him a round of applause. That was good. That was good. But this is an international conference. People are traveling from all over the world. So how many people are here from out of the country? It's like everybody, Eddie. Check it out. People are come from all over for this. And all you, uh, you know, I was hoping it would be bigger. Uh, oh, well. Good enough. Give him a big round of applause off the stage. Thank you very much, Paul Taylor. We want to get her stuff, uh, Holly stuff, out over here. And we are going to uh, have the next person come up in just one second. Yes. What? Can I, can, I, can I try again? How many people want him to try again? With some, okay, okay, come on up here, Paul. Paul, come on up here. Come on up here. We have a little time while they're setting up the stage, because that was a little bit weak uh, before. So, uh... You don't have to keep reminding him. Okay, I'm out of no, here. No need to remind us. Uh, you know, I was always taught that this size didn't matter, but Eddie taught me different. So. <laughs> anyway, here we go. So uh, basically, uh, 
earmuffs, Eddie. The same demonstration, just scale it up a little bit. I happen to have here the standard five gallon water cooler bottle. I happen to put a little bit of water in there. That's important for having that liquid nitrogen turn into a gas really quickly. We're gonna create a lot of gas pressure and a lot of water vapor pressure. And we're going to pop a slightly larger uh, cork today. And this should be hopefully meet uh, Eddie's standards, which are extremely high. So kudos to you, Eddie, for calling me out on that. All right, so the other glove, here we go. I think you'll like this, Eddie, watch close, okay? Let me get some nitrogen, I'm running around like a chicken. Or I'm sorry, poulet, I have no idea. All right, here we go. Is that, is that French? Did I just say dirty word? Anyway, we're gonna have a lot of water vapor. I'll tell you when to say fire in the hole. Uh, yeah, okay, let's see which way we're gonna go. Watch this, the lights, the watch lights. The, oh, I, Busted so many lights, I can't even <laughs> There we go, get some nice water vapor, a lot of pressure. All right, here we go, everybody. Fire in the hole! All right, so let's just kind of see what the next. <laughs> now, Paul, you think you can, like, hit that dome over there? You think you can hit that, uh, that black dome over there? Let's give it a try, Eddie. Give here it we go. Okay. Give let's it a try shot. to hit the dome. Remember that Paul, whatever, whatever makes Paul you happy. Is doing this, I'm not doing whatever it. Whatever makes Paul you happy. Doing it. That's okay. what my goal is to make go. you happy. Okay. Because you know I did carry. So, or the wall over there would be nice. Where, wherever. Yeah, that's I'm going good. for it. Oh boy, that's bad. Okay. Right now. Yeah. All right, Paul. Well, that was good. So Eddie. That was good. But, that, but here's was that the thing. It was good. It was big. But it didn't what? have any. Did you see? It didn't have any like dramatic tension. Do you know what I'm saying? <laughs> In other words, we knew what was going to happen. It went. It fired. It was good. No, it was good. It was good. Give him a little uh, encouragement over there. But something didn't have that tension. So uh, good shot anyway. Paul Taylor from the Franklin Institute. Get your uh, step off the stage here, Paul. All right. That was uh, exciting. Okay. Now. Okay, we are nearing the uh, end of the uh, show. Whoa. Eddie, yes. I think we should get that pole try. Another guy, another try. <laughs> Say what? Let's give him another try. Oh. We should oh, give that pole guy beer. another try? I don't think so. We don't really have the time for... How many people want pull another? Now watch me. Well, since you were requested, come on up here, Paul. Come on up here. Okay, something with like tension, something with dramatic. Uh... I'm gonna give you tension. Okay, Mama. okay, Mama. I'm out of here. I'm out of here. Keeping with the same. Keeping with the same theme here. Let's uh, let's try this, Eddie. Maybe this will meet your demands. You know, uh, I've spent a lot of my life at the Science Center trying to scale things up. Here's the reality, sometimes when you scale things up, you actually get a diminishing return. So, a little serious part of my, something to think about, but I hope that this is not a diminishing return. So, uh, here we go. There's a classic, I just happen to have stepped this up, normally you do with a 10 or a 12 inch balloon. I happen to have here already a 16. So we get lots of force once this actually decides to give up the ghost. So, let's go ahead and pour some uh, nitrogen here in our flask. Let's give it a good pour. <laughs> the more I pour, the quicker we can actually get this to happen. I know that we have possibly one more thing happening. All right, so you can see right now that... Uh, <clears throat> I'm going to turn the mic off for a second, come out and everybody get a really good look. You can really see the expanding gas. So what's happening right now is that uh, it's expanding 700 times. That means that this balloon would have to get about as wide as this, about as tall as me, to collect all the gas that's going to come off of it. Guess what? There's no chance. This balloon, but don't worry, this balloon gets very... Anybody afraid of balloons? Usually I find that one person. You, no, okay. So it's getting quite big. Now, there are those occasions when it chooses not to pop. Is it big, Eddie? Is it... Okay. <laughs> Nice job, Paul. Yes, take a bow, take a bow, take a bow. All right. There was a request for that also. Maybe you can help me with this last thing that I'm going to do.
That was good. Was that good enough, you guys? Yes. Dramatic tension. It was good. Okay. I wanted to end up the show with uh, something big, and I figured I would stick with that liquid nitrogen theme. So here's what I am going to do. How many of you guys have ever seen the stunt where you take liquid nitrogen, you put it inside of a bottle, you seal up the bottle. Now that is very dangerous to do because it's expanding, expanding, expanding. You drop it inside of a trash that has a little bit of water that speeds the reaction on. You take 2,500 ping pong balls. You pour those 2,500 ping pong balls on top. You count down. When it explodes, it like erupts. How many people have actually seen that before? Oh, man. Okay, that's good. That's good. All right. But I wanted to try something a little bit different. So I'm going to sort of do that. I'm going to take 2,500 ping pong balls that are white and 52 ping pong balls that are orange. And each one of these ping pong balls has the name of a playing card on it. There's the five of hearts. Here's the eight of hearts, 10 of clubs. I'm going to mix those in. So we're going to have an eruption of like 2,552 ping pong balls. And then I am going to try to catch just one of those orange balls with my uh, little bag over there. How many people want to see that one? Huh? Yes? Is that good? Okay. Now, here is the deal. These ping pong balls are so light that I had to go and get a bag that was like smooth on the inside so that it would like slide in. When I just try to, it, the, the ping pong balls just won't go in. So I'm going to be catching it with this, and in order to keep things fair and keep it moving along, I would like a volunteer from the audience. I would like somebody who it's their first time at an Aztec conference. Any first timers here at an Aztec conference? Your first time, come on up over here onto the uh, stage. And what is your name? Darcy. Darcy, come on up over here. A round of applause for Darcy. First time at Aztec. Give me five. Where are you from, Darcy? The CDC, the uh, Center for Disease Control, and then they added something to the name, but they didn't put another initial on those guys. Yep. The CDC Museum from Atlanta, you having a good time so far? I am. All right, well, this is going to be a little fun. And Paul, why don't you uh, come on up and help? The first thing I want you to do is uh, scope these out, check them out, make sure you understand what's going on over there. Okay, I am going to ask you and Paul to mix them in. Now, we've got two bags of. Um, ping pong balls, that's because it wouldn't all fit in one bag. So take about half, pour them into one, half, pour them into the other. We're going to stir those around, and I'm going to be catching one of those with my thing. Oh, all the cameras are coming up. I should mention that uh, YouTube, uh, all this stuff is going to be on YouTube, thanks to uh, Wayne over there. And while they're doing that, I have a couple of other announcements I want to make. If you would like to be in the live demonstration now or one of these years, Sometime during the conference, come up, up to me and just give me your business card and put LDH for live demonstration hour on the back of your business card and I'll add you on the list so you can be in this show. Keep on stirring them around, that is uh, great. Another announcement, tonight there is a special show, Stand Up Science, which is a combination of stand up comedy, alcohol, and science. It's in your program, 7.30 at the uh, Pub St. Paul. And the last thing I want to do is give a call out to the uh, Denver Museum of Nature and Science, where I spent 23 years. I love the place. It is a fabulous place. I want to give it a round of applause for all that it's done for me for 23 years. And the best part is, when I go there, I still get the employee discount at the restaurant. Yes, 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 it is awesome. Are those stirred up pretty well? Okay, Darcy, come on back over here. Come on back over here. Now, uh, you know that I'm gonna try to get one of those orange balls, but we're gonna find out right now which one of those orange ping pong balls. Uh, I am going to go for. So just touch the top of any one of these cards. That one over here, yes? Okay. And that is the Six of Clubs. So the Six of Clubs is my target. I'm going to put that Six of Clubs 
right in the little stand over there. And Darcy, I'm going to ask you for a little while to go back down over there. Don't go too far because you'll be coming up at the uh, end. Six of clubs is my target. Safety first, so we have the gloves. <laughs> we've got the goggles, we've got the earmuffs. Now, I've got these earmuffs because I'm going to be standing pretty close to this with my back towards it because it's an explosion and I'm not going to be able to cover up my ears. I would highly suggest that you guys cover up your ears. For those of you who are holding the phones, you might want to like do it like this. I've warned you, that's the splash zone. Stuff is going to go flying over there. But we are going to go and the last thing is to get the tube, the liquid nitrogen. Here's what's going to happen. Paul's going to help me pour the liquid nitrogen in while I am capping it off. Michelle from the uh, Montreal Science Center and Paul are going to, I'm going to drop it in over there, are going to quickly dump those on to the uh, thing. They're going to go off. I'm going to grab, I should pull it out so it's at easy access. I'm going to grab my little net over here to get it. You guys hold on. I do have one other thing to ask before we start this, which is it is going to be a mess. Now, it will take Paul and me about three hours to clean up the mess, or if everybody helps out, it would be really fast. There's 2,500 balls. There's about 500 people here. That's five balls per person. How many people are willing to commit that they will pick up five balls and uh, at the end and bring them back onto the stage? Okay, so we're good. So after that, we are ready to go. Do we have to hold the balls out to the show? Yeah. I said it. You didn't say I don't know what it is. Okay, here we go. There we go. He thinks he's in France. Okay, so hang on for a minute over there. The muffs go on. And the gloves. Can you hear me? What? Actually, I can vaguely hear, but it's the loud concussive sounds that this will uh, do it. Okay, let's put that right in. Ready? Yep. You tell me when. I will. A little bit more, keep going. Just let me lift it a little bit. Okay. Keep going. Stop for a minute, let that drain in. Okay, more. Keep going, keep going. I think that's good. Okay, that comes off, that comes off, not yet. So, it is going to expand 700 times. Let me quickly put this on. Drop that in, hold your ears there guys. And off the stage. I think I've got one. I think I caught one. I lost my glasses. There they are. Let's see. Uh, Darcy, come back up onto the stage. Now, I don't want you to look at it, I just want you to reach inside and see if I got one. Okay, hold on tightly, tightly. Close it, your hands over it so we don't see what it is. I want to make sure that we didn't uh, get any extra ones, which we did not. It's an orange ball, yes? I am going for the six of clubs. If this is the six of clubs, they're going to go wild. Hold it up, which one did I get? Six of clubs. Six of clubs right over there. All right. <laughs> And that is the live demonstration hour 2015. Yeah. Darcy, thank you very much. That's a souvenir that ball for you. Souvenir ball over there. Let's get everybody up onto the stage. Come on up over here, Olivier, Paul, Sarah, Alexis, Holly Walter Kirby, Ashley. We also have, there's Ashley over there. We've got a number of people who've helped out from the Montreal Science Center. Give them all a big round of applause. See you next year. Bye-bye.